Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you. We are amongst festival season and the biggest festival being Coachella is within this month. So my husband and I are seasoned vets when it comes to Coachella. Unfortunately, we are team no cello this year being that I am, how pregnant am I? Like six, seven, no six months. And it would just be too much. But I do have 10 tips from a pro to help you survive your first Coachella. So the first tip is stay hydrated. You are in the desert, it's like 103 degrees. You're gonna, you're also gonna be drinking, you're gonna be running from stage to stage, you're gonna be there all day. So definitely I suggest bring one of those backpack flasks, or I think they're called hydro flasks. Um, they have stations there where you can refill your hydro bag or also if you decide to purchase a water bottle everything's expensive there I think a water bottle was like five six dollars but you can continue to refill it um, at the station tip number two yes drinking water is important but you also want to drink before you get to the festival if unless you don't mind spending all your money on liquor and beer at the festival a beer a large beer I think is like 12 bucks and a mixed drink is about 15 to 20 bucks each time so what we've done in the past is we have attended parties that are open bar I know T-Mobile had a party with um, Pandora it was called the Indio Invasion I'm not sure if they have it this year but every year we went except the first year we would go and the second year we didn't go but um we would go to the party there's free food there's free drinks there's free gifts and we would just drink there and head to the festival or you can buy your liquor and beer and chug it right before you walk in at least that'll get you a little buzz before you have to spend all your money at the festival i remember maybe because it was the festival like right after we got married but my husband and I legit were spending like maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars a day on liquor so it's crazy <laughs> so tip number three it is the desert and you know it's super hot during the day but at night it does get cold um, I, so make sure you bring a sweatshirt or a jacket to tie around your, your waist during the day and have easy access to it during the evening it's easy to throw in a backpack and that's something else that I meant to add on my list bring a backpack um, so you can throw everything in or you can always purchase a sweatshirt or a sweater there at Coachella there's tons of merchandise however each sweater or jacket of your favorite artist ranges from like $30 to $60 so if you want to spend that extra money for sure definitely get that if not, pack wisely. So tip number four, bring a portable charger. And with everyone using their phone, the service isn't as good. Like guys, there's thousands and thousands of people there. And with your phone using all your service, your phone will die really quickly. Um, I remember the first Coachella, I literally stood at the charging station for like maybe 30 minutes and then I was just like, whatever. like. I'm going to program everything into memory, <laughs> but um, if you're with a group of people, it might be good to have your phone fully charged in case you guys get separate. Yeah, in case if you guys don't have walkie-talkies, your cell phone is the only way to locate each other. If you took a ride together and you need to head out or anything, any form of communication. So make sure you bring a portable charger. Actually bring two. So tip number five. It gets super windy and dusty at night, so make sure you're bringing a mask to wear or make sure that you have a bandana so you could just pull over um, your mouth and your nose. I remember the first year we went, we did not expect that. 
so we even left a little early because it was just, just so dusty and it was hard to breathe. All right, tip number six is bring your sunscreen. You are in the desert. Once again, it's 103 degrees. You will get sunburned. Um, there, I believe there are sunscreen stations, but I don't remember. I think it's only in the emergency room area. So bring your map so you can make sure that you are located where everything is just in case of an emergency. But yes, pack your sunscreen. Tip number seven, wear closed toe shoes. Wear booties, wear sneakers, wear anything that's covering your entire foot. Like I mentioned before, it gets super dusty there and you'll be walking a lot. So make sure that you are wearing something that is comfortable enough to walk around from stage to stage. And if you're wearing white sneakers, be completely open-minded to the fact that it will get dusty and dirty. Just walking into the venue, you have to walk on like a sandy gravel area. Number eight, bring a backpack or a fanny pack that is big enough for you to put everything that you are intending to bring, like your sunscreen, your water bottles, your sweatshirt, if you want a change of clothes. <laughs> Trust me guys, this is Coachella. I've seen a lot of the Instagram people do that before. Um, your mask, your portable charger. Some people try to sneak in flats, but they usually will catch that at the door. But if you do want a cute pair of shoes that's uncomfortable, pack it in your backpack and take a quick picture with it and then throw on your sneakers again so you can walk around um, festival grounds. Tip number eight, buy your merchandise early. Like if you know your favorite band is performing and you want a t-shirt, stop by the merch store and cop it early because a lot of the merchandise sells out like within the first day. And my last tip is for those who are Team Nochella, um, the pre-sale occurs every May, so the festival's in April. So the next month is pre-sale. Pre-sale is such a rush. Like you have to hop on a computer. We usually log in on our phones, our iPads. Our, all of our friends um, bought VIP tickets. So we all were like literally on four or five devices each trying to get these tickets. So make sure that day, make sure that day you are prepared with all your devices fully charged. I'm trying to think that the quality is a little different, but I am recording now on my phone because my camera just isn't charging and I used up all my battery yesterday. But anyway, um, like I was saying, the day that pre-sale goes on sale, make sure that you're fully prepared, you free out some spare time in your day to purchase these tickets. And I think besides the tickets, the most expensive thing is the hotel. So you can either camp, which I've never done, but um, purchase your hotel in advance. So you can either call your hotel and see if they accept the payment plan or do a payment plan yourself, like save certain money. Save certain money aside each month to pay for a hotel. I'll be completely honest. Um, every year that's the most expensive like thing. Um, we usually spend about 1300 to 2000 on the weekend on a hotel. So make sure that you do have that money saved aside. If you're going with a group of friends, perfect, you guys can split it. Um, also, with that being said, just place it on a credit card and then have everyone pay you back or pay someone back because these hotels do book up and you don't want to be stranded and forced to camp in your car but not on site. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these 10 tips, and if you have any other questions for Coachella, feel free to comment below. Later!